Hey guys, how you all doing and welcome back to the channel as usual. In this video, I thought we could do some stuff on the new update that's just come out. They've added the 4 GT into the game. I think it looks stunning. It is awesome. It's really sleek. I remember playing with this on GTA, <laughs> the GTA equivalent. But yeah, I'm so glad they're finally going to add it into the game. I'm not sure when it's actually going to be properly released. So I think they said they were going to add it into the um, championships. So obviously, no one's pretty much going to win it. <laughs> unless you are the, the one percenters. But still... Car looks great, and we get an opportunity to test drive it, so um, I thought we'd go for it. So remember, we did it in the Chiron before, so why not do it in the 4 GT? So it says we got three uses. That's one thing I missed last time. I thought we could get infinite uses, but no, we only get three goes. So, uh, yeah, let's go for it. Oh, we covered the fuel. Cool. I just realized I only had one fuel left. <laughs> That's good. Oh, it does look awesome. Yellow and black looks great. What other colors would you guys like to see it in? <laughs> comment down below. But I think I think this this color will do. It's awesome. Maybe white and blue. I'm not sure. We're not doing too badly. Looks like we're winning still. But oh, the spoiler comes out. Oh, epic! Active spoiler. Uh, this car is awesome. It's just such, it's got such a low profile. It's really cool. But it's going to be super fast as well when it upgraded. But look at that. Oh, that's awesome. Right, we've got two goes left. I'm going to make the most of them. <laughs> so I doubt I'll be getting this car ever again. <laughs> or like in the um, is it the Daily Battles. It's going to be the only other chance I get to drive it. But the revs are actually containable. Then we've got another perfect start. Bam. Off we go. Oh, it's so good. Perfect starts are not that hard to get in this, to be honest. Because the revs doesn't, I mean, I think it's the Hurricane. The revs on that just, like, it's mental. You probably guys know, because you've probably got the car. But you can't keep it in the same place by feathering it. By, uh, what's my saying? Feathering it. You have to um, learn kind of full rev and then let go at a certain time to get that perfect half the time. But yeah, this was a bit easier. So I guess better for a, a beginner in a way. Oh, five star. I thought it was four star. Well, how come I've got a 5 star and he's got a 4 star? Makes no sense. Anyway. <laughs> oh, it's really cool. Oh, that was a bad start. Oh, that was an awful start. There goes me saying a perfect start is not that hard to get. <laughs> and I muck it up. Anyway, at least we can see the back of the car now. That's one good thing. I like the way the spoilers are in the middle. I think it would have been cool if they came out of the rear lights. That would have been kind of cool. But you can't have everything, I guess. But yeah, that's pretty cool. Well, I'm really glad they let us test drive the car, a bit like the Chiron, because it is it is super cool. Um, they should I think they should put the 2017 edition because when people see 4 GT, I think they're gonna think the old one. But yeah, it's still it's still awesome. See, it says four star. It gave me a five star car before. Really, really weird. But yeah, that's kind of been it, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you did enjoy, please drop a like. Or if you're new, please subscribe. Always do CSR content. Hopefully get this car in the future to do some tunes for it, but I really doubt it. But my overall verdict for the car is it's awesome, looks cool, drives fast, all that good stuff. If you guys want to post your verdicts in the comment below, please go ahead. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one.